hi guys welcome back today's video is going to be kind of like a weekend in the life um just like a weekend vlog basically i was going to do a day in the life but i just thought the weekend would be more fun and interesting so it is yeah saturday morning i am waiting for my mum and dad to get here um and then we are off to watch jamie's game jamie's already gone to the ground his two best friends have gone with him we're all going out for dinner tonight the reason i have come on looking like this with my hair in a messy wet bun is because i have recently got so many dms about how i do my hair how i style my hair and yeah i thought i could air wrap it with you guys today because that is what i plan on doing with my hair i don't know how long i've got i think i've got about like 40 minutes honestly though the baby hairs at the moment are my biggest insecurity i don't know why suddenly i've got like all of these baby hairs but they've like stopped growing like i swear i've had these same like baby hairs for like six months and they've just stopped growing at this length Oh my god, I look like Hagrid. Okay, so, not gonna lie to you, the lighting's not amazing, but this is literally my hair. I washed it this morning and didn't dry it. <laughs> I basically just put it straight up into a bun, so this is kind of what my hair's dried like. You're kind of supposed to air wrap on damp hair anyway. It can't be too wet. That is one thing I'll say with the air wrap. I would rather dry air wrap my hair bone dry than too wet. Um, but yeah, it is kind of still damp. The one thing I did drown my hair in this morning was the Colour Wow Dream Coat. So I use this kind of once or twice a week. You're, I think you're kind of supposed to use it every like three hair washes. Um, so I wash my hair every other day. I'm trying to cut back on how much I wash my hair but yeah I really really love this product this does deserve the hype it gets um but I drowned my hair in that this morning and kind of just let it naturally dry I actually think you're not supposed to do that but it was my day to use that so using this I use the big barrel so the thicker one and the longer one and basically this should take about 10 minutes it shouldn't take longer than that I've got kind of mid-length regular my hair's not thick my hair's not thin it's pretty average um and yeah it takes me about 10 minutes i don't section it anything like that i literally just do it one side and then the other side so you want the curls to go away from your face so for this barrel i'm going to use it on this side for the other barrel i'm going to use it on the other side all i basically do i'm not like picky with how i do it i just pick chunks of hair they're not necessarily thin i pick quite ch chunky bits of hair i basically like dangle the ends i'm really gonna try and make this as obvious as possible i basically like dangle the ends turn this on and hold it until the ends all wrap up and then it nicely sucks up i see a lot of people kind of like wrap it round and then let it suck up and i don't do it that way i find it's way easier to just kind of let it attach itself and then it naturally pulls itself up i hope this makes sense so like i don't know if you can hear me but i don't know if you can see that it's like that's now there and it literally just pulls up and then that is kind of the curl so i literally push it to the back take the next bit I kind of like push the bottom up. Sometimes the bottom hangs off the edge. I don't know if that's because I'm using too much hair or because my hair's too long for the barrel. It shouldn't be. Um, but I kind of just push the bottom and the top bit down so it's completely on the barrel. And leave it for a couple of seconds. Push it to the back. I don't actually bother with the cooling set in i never have just because i very rarely have time to like do it and then cool it but yeah i very rarely use like 
the cooling feature, which I think you're supposed to, but I mean, it's what it is. of one side done so it looks obviously very poodle like but i will spray that swap the barrels over and then do exactly the same on this side as i have on that side. Whip up my appetite. don't leave me in you can see this side's already started to drop and then i'll basically just leave it for like however long until i'm going out if it's not completely dropped i'll just run my fingers through it some people like to kind of put it into rollers i actually saw a really good hack where somebody obviously wrapped their hair and then in them there's like the ridges and if you do want to kind of like roll them and pin them with the thin pins while it's already like wrapped and in the hair you can run a bobby pin up the side of the ridges of obviously like where it sucks your hair and then it automatically pins rather than you letting it drop roll it up yourself and pin it I hope that makes sense but i thought that that was a good little hack to kind of like pin it. it i would pin my hair if i was like going out um on a night out or something like that but just for the day i like it to just naturally look like my hair's flicky and had a bit of a blow dry rather than i've had my hair done um but yeah, that really doesn't take longer than kind of, to, should take like 15 minutes max. That is my air up hair. I will come back. I'm basically just going to run round and tidy the place up. Some kind of butterfly. I have literally just combined outfits from Milan. So I've got the same jeans and trainers on. And then I've popped Aisha and Zell's brand, All Neutrals. The lighting is so terrible, but it's basically just a plain black long sleeve bodysuit and then the Zara jacket. Um, I don't know why we can't keep that. Okay, I'm gonna have to stand so close to the mirror. Um, but yeah, the jeans are pretty little thing. Shoes are New Balance. And then, like I mentioned before, the jacket is Zara. That I quite literally live in these days. Like, I live in this jacket. You will very rarely find me in anything else. I'm kind of, I'm half on time, half early. I said I was going to leave at about half one. But my mum and dad are late. So... 
the game doesn't kick off until three and it's two o'clock and it only takes about 15 minutes to get there so we have plenty of time to spare but yes this is the outfit okay i'm very sorry but i'm coming at you from the bathroom let's not talk about this i just put this top on and got a bit of my lip gloss on it so that is wet at the moment i've just scrubbed it with a makeup wipe but if we can imagine that's not there that would be fantastic but i'm not actually sure what the last thing i filmed was but we are just about to head out for dinner um and i love this outfit i've actually worn this once before um but never got a picture or anything in it so we're recycling and re-wearing this is my outfit so the whole thing is i can never say it mania de bois mdv we'll go with that um so yeah the top is is that brand so are these trousers um and these are actually great trousers for the girls that are short because i have not had these trousers altered whatsoever um i just think they are s that mark honestly makes me want to cry so slimming and if we can just ignore that mark just picture that mark's not there look how great this outfit would be obviously my bag pollen um and yeah we are off for dinner and then I think all of the boys want to go to Shoreditch so that is the plan of action also let me show you the hills because it is the hills first night out toes need doing but they're the girls first night out very nice stuff actually hey jason why behind this fish please think of it give us a twirl <laughs> oh, <smooth> as well. <laughs> well, at least that mark's still there. Look at that. Stay through there. Why not? Go on, Gary. Go, mate. Feel the wheel first. Feel the wheel. Feel the wheel. Go on, Gary. Go on. This stuff is literally my favourite. I don't know if you can see that. And the boys are in the other room watching football. Obviously, I mentioned Jamie's friends come down from Leeds. So they come down Friday um, and have been staying here. So they're all in the other room. I'm just packing up some stuff because we're going back to my mum and dad's today and obviously i showed you wrapping my hair yesterday but this is day two obviously so i actually think it held really well a lot of people actually say they prefer day two of curls and i think i agree my only thing is i really struggle with like i've got this phobia of having greasy hair i'm really trying to like not wash it every day um, so I've not washed it today, I've literally just dry shampooed it and, and it's more in my head, like my head doesn't look greasy but it's like a phobia I have in my head. If anybody has any kind of like tips on washing their hair less, how they kind of trained, I know you can train your hair into being less greasy, let me know. But yeah, day two of air wrapped hair. I've moved. Why is it when you tidy, things don't stay tidy for so long? 
but more of like lived not with my mum, the more I realise I'm turning into my mum. I just find myself like tidying things up and they don't stay tidy. Sorry if I'm talking a little bit quiet as well, I'm just in the bathroom and I don't want it to like echo. But I did actually want to go through my skincare. That is something I get questions on all the time. When I popped on my Instagram, kind of like, what do you want to see on YouTube? My skincare, makeup and hair was kind of the biggest things that people wanted to know. I wanted to properly talk about my skincare because I do feel like I have completely got my skincare down to a T. I use every single one of these every, every single day. So, first things first. The Elemis Pro cleansing balm now i have the travel pot i have the rose one i have the regular big pot little tip for you so i got this mini one in an advent calendar and i just find this so much easier to kind of take around with me stuff like that so i decanter is that the right word i decanter from kind of the big pot to the little face wash wipe I use skin and me cleanser so I'll use the LMS take off my makeup go in with the skin and me cleanser this is my favorite cleanser honestly I've not found one that I prefer it just does everything that I need it to do so that is the cleanser I use so camera actually died so sorry if we've got a change of quality sound whatever I use LMS skin and me cleanser Okay, these two are probably my two favourite things in my makeup bag. Oh my god. If I could only have one skincare product for the rest of my life, it could be this. So it's the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Serum. This just transforms my skin. I don't know what it is. It literally like, you know when like you wake up and you just look dull and like, just ugly <laughs> that's the only way i can put it i wake up and i feel like ugly i wash my face the second i put this on i have like it evens out your skin tone i find that it clears my skin like helps kind of take away the redness in if you've got any spots if you've got any kind of yeah uneven skin tone i just feel that this completely like is like it just works miracles it is just expensive um i cry every time i have to buy a new one because it is on the more expensive side i get the big bottle because i use it every day i don't even know if you're supposed to use it every day but i do and it is expensive but it's something that i probably won't stop buying because i love it that much so i use that every morning Going on to another expensive product, which again, I love and won't not use and not buy, is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. So this is my second bottle. I don't know if you can see I'm like getting halfway to the end. So I put the vitamin C serum, then I go in with this. And this I just find is really good for my skin in general. I find that I noticed a difference in the texture of my skin when I started using this. My skin just looks like, like, I don't know, just so like flawless. This is also really good. So I actually bought this in Dubai. I didn't buy it. I got given a tester of it and I fell in love with it. But it's also really good if you've got sun damaged skin. Yeah, sorry, I hate recommending expensive products, but I actually can't not recommend these. These are like my two favorite things. These make me very happy. <laughs> They don't make me happy to buy it, but they make my skin very happy. So there's those two. So then I, after those two serums, I will go in with my Skin and Me Daily Doser. I don't actually know if this is how it's supposed to work. I think you're supposed to use this um, at night. I actually flick between night and morning, um, but I use it every day. So I'll kind of use the two Sunday Riley serums and then pop this on and I actually if I'm using this in the morning I use this as my moisturizer because it's kind of like 
a cream like substance and then I let that set in for kind of 10 minutes then I'll do my makeup or if I'm not wearing any makeup that day that will be kind of my skincare done um <clears throat> so yeah I will use my skin and me daily dose as my moisturizer or on an evening I will just use this after I've washed my face and then use my skin and me moisturizer again I can't recommend skin and me enough I have worked with them but they are honestly one of the best brands I actually got Jamie skin and me for Christmas um, and he loves it as well so his is here so I got him it for Christmas so we have one each I wonder what day he's on and I always look yeah he's used look like down to the bottom we're on different so he's used slightly more of his than I have of mine. I have to be good. He is right on track. He's getting another one in a couple of days. So he's been using it. So this is how I check if he's doing his skincare. I actually think Skin of Me is really, really affordable. Um, so that is something I recommend not being paid to say this. Genuinely, really, really love that brand. And then finally, SPF. So I will wear SPF every day. It, this one is probably my favourite. I've flipped between this one and the La Roche Posay. This one probably just trumps it, but it's the Super Glue Mineral Sheer Screen. And yeah, I just use that every day. Love it. I find it helps my skin rather than clogs my skin up because I do feel like I'm very petrified of SPFs. SPFs used to really, really break me out. Um, so I used to put off wearing them. I really, really obviously recommend using an SPF. That is what avoids like wrinkles, stuff like that. So yes, this is every day without fail. It goes hand in hand with the rest. But yeah, I kind of want to show you me using them and stuff like that. So you can maybe even see the difference from like before I've washed my face and used them all to after. So yeah, I don't know whether, maybe I kind of do like a day in the life and go through and use all of the products, show you what kind of stuff I use on my hair, my makeup. Um, if that's something you'd want to see, then let me know. But yeah, that is kind of my skin, my skincare. I actually have an appointment with um, a new dermatologist on Wednesday. But, so on Wednesday is the consultation and she's going to kind of, I assume, kind of write up, not like a skincare plan because I do love all this stuff and I think it would take a lot for somebody to talk me out of using all of this but um kind of like maybe like a facial there's things that I like I myself like want facials for like I've got black like really tiny blackheads on my chin that I can't like you know when you can't pop them yourself um and then also one of my like biggest insecurities well for ages now is I have like it's like a mole, um, but it's like skin coloured. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, it's like my biggest insecurity. I look at myself in the mirror all the time and I'm like, oh my God, I hate it. Um, but yeah, it's like a basically like a skin coloured mole. Just always looks like I've got a spot um, in between my eyebrows. So I'm not sure if that's something that she can, she kind of does like, skin tag removals and lasers and stuff like that that's actually the reason or a reason i've booked a consultation with her because i want to see if there's anything she can do about that or if i've kind of got to go and potentially get it surgically removed which sounds very dramatic and if that's the case it probably isn't going to happen but yeah so that is that is pretty much my skin i hope this vlog isn't boring i feel like i've not really shown very much just kind of chatted at you which i know some people really love like chatty videos but i kind of want my videos to be like more fun and like showing you what i'm doing and i think i thought i'd have a funner weekend than i actually have not to say it's not been fun but today we've literally done nothing and um, so yeah i'm sorry if this is a bit boring <laughs> you missed a spot well, I can't do it. All a wind up. I'm sweating, I'm warm in here. Why well, we've left cleaning 
to this time on a Sunday night. I shut out my seat to like join in. What? Shut out my seat to join in. Yeah. I was, I was like, I was, I was like, should we use these new products? And he was like, yeah, yeah, don't start without me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I said we was getting an Indian for our Sunday night. We're actually spending the Sunday evening. No, that's still on the cards, potentially. Cleaning. I reward myself with the Indian. But we're just scrubbing the shower <laughs> door. And I've just done outside. the sink, which looks- Oh, sink looks top. <laughs> sparkly clean. Ne next on our um, agenda is clean the mirror. I actually like the lights more than what the problems? sunset. Do you know what I mean? I mean, the sunset's pretty too, but do you know what I mean with the lights? The lights just look so pretty. Do you want to get me <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh my god! Right, let's shut this door.